Talking to Charlton manager Russell Slade ahead of Saturday's match at Fleetwood. Russell, when you arrived at Charlton, you said you wanted to revive the Charlton heartbeat. When others were saying it was impossible to detect a pulse. Are you feeling a heartbeat now? Yeah, um, I felt a heartbeat at the moment I came into the football club. It just, you know, probably wasn't beating loud enough. But um, certainly um, things have improved. Um, there's a real, real desire, real intent. Um, there's a real enthusiasm around the building, which it, which is really pleasing to see. Um, there's a ni nice kind of like togetherness. People wanting to train, wanting to train longer, which is important. Wanting to be together longer, um, and, uh, and and wanting to be successful ultimately. Um, the, the desire to do well so um, you know we try to build that a little bit um, since I've come here um, and the early signs are positive How long has it taken you to achieve that? Oh, it never stops I think that's the thing about it is um, you, you start something and it's a process and it probably never stops really you have to keep it growing all the time and I think that's the important thing really is you don't want to take you know one step forward and two backwards in, in terms of growing something. Um, and we've got something which is, you know, it's in its infancy at the minute, but um, it is growing. And, um, you know, there's a. What comes with that are, are all the things that are so important, not just in football, in life. With that comes a trust in each other because they know each other now better. A belief that, that comes as well. And. And that's important to any team that's going to be successful. So, I mean, the, the things that come from building something and, and trying to achieve some momentum are, are, um, are frightening, really. Um, you know, it's, it's like a runaway train. Um, it gets faster and faster, and that's what you want to see, because uh, that way, you, you know, you're going to achieve your targets and get where you want to get uh, sooner rather than later. All singing from the same hymn sheet, then? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, you, you can't have that. You can't have any rogue huskies, as I say, because that doesn't get you anywhere, does it? Before the transfer window closed, you signed Frederick Ulverstadt. What do you expect from him? Frederick, um, he's good, good pedigree. He's strong. In, in, he's a Norwegian international. Um, he's... Um, Wow, he's, he's, he's really, really fit lad. Um, he really covers the ground. He's got good energy. Um, technically, his feet, are, his feet are very good. And I just wanted to, you know, improve the competition for places in that area of the pitch and, and that energy. And um, that's what he'll bring to the team. Could he make his debut on Saturday? There, yeah, there's a possibility. I mean, there's always a, you know, you always look to see whether... You can um, improve improve the group uh, from one game to another, to be honest. But, you know, the, the, the lads that have been in there um, so far as well deserve a lot of credit for what they've done. But um, how you want to see it, I, I do believe in the group. I talk about the group a lot. And if you're going to be successful, it isn't the 11, it is the 18, it is the 20 or 20, probably 21. We, we've got 22 players. Um, they're all very important and all will play their part during the season. Speculation suggests you rejected substantial offers for a couple of players before the window closed. Is that true? Yes, very true. Um, I was in the room as they were being rejected. Um, so, you know, we turned down a lot of money, £6 million plus for Luckman and a lot of money also for, um, for Fox. Um, the timing of it was, was not right doing it late in the window anyway and we'd already made that decision and we wanted to keep them at the football club because they were part of what we're, we're trying to achieve at this moment in time. Um, and I think it's great that the, the window shut now, particularly for our younger players because it's a distraction, there's no doubt about that. Um, and the only focus now, because there's no loan window, is, is, um, is, is the football club and their own football. And that's exactly what these two boys want to do. They want to nail down the football, get on with the football and, and do their very best. Was there relief on your part when the window closed? 
Well, obviously, I wanted to get one one more. I was looking to get one more player in myself, but I, I wasn't going to just go and get when a couple of the signings that we we would have liked to have made um, went north a little bit. Um, there were others thrown at us, but I just didn't want to, you know, press the button on something that um, wasn't going to be long term and wasn't maybe going to be the right fit because we'd done a lot of research on the other two or three that we wanted to bring in. Has the international break been a benefit to your injured players? Uh, one thinks of Lee Novak and Johnny Jackson. Are they fit for Saturday? Um, well, John, Johnny's still a doubt. Um, Lee has returned to training, so he is is now a possible. So we're delighted that you know if we do lose Johnny for Saturday, and that's not saying we will, but um, it, it does mean that we've got Lee Novak back as well, and obviously we've got Chickson in contention, and we've got Freddie. So body wise, body wise, we're not too bad. And, um, Ricky, Ricky's got over a little. He's got a bit of a bruised foot, hasn't he? But um, you know that's given that time to settle down as well. So he's in contention also. Charlton's first ever meeting with Fleet, Fleetwood is something of a surprise package this season. What are you expecting from them? Yeah, you know, look, look, it's interesting because we've seen footage of them because they play Bolton like we have. Um, we've seen footage of them against Northampton because they played them like we have. So I think. Probably they're two teams, and, and I'm sure it's the same for uh, Uwe, uh, who, who I know. He's, he's probably seen plenty of footage of, of ourselves. And, you know, I think they're the two improving sides, both teams, and um, they've had a terrific start to the season, play some good football, you know, um, strong going forward, um, good signing in Chris Long. Up the front and balls in great, great, great nick up front and Cole there, they're their front three, and I'm sure they'll be against us on Saturday. and And they're lively, and I like, I like Ryan in midfield as well. He's very creative, and um, yeah, no, listen, they're a strong side, and they they they're, they're going to be up there. This is not a flash in the pan, um, in my opinion. E even after six games, I do think they're going to be contenders. Ow.